XRPG? Yeah. Me too. I'm Pete Hines from Bethesda. On uh, behalf of everybody at Bethesda Softworks and Bethesda Game Studios, thank you guys for taking the time to uh, come check out a little Skyrim. First time we've ever shown this to the general public. Uh, now, we have one and only one request in exchange for, uh, for bring the game here and show it to you guys, and that's uh, we ask you to take your cameras and take your phones and kindly place them in your pocket. Um, please don't please don't record the demo. We don't want crummy, shaky cam footage of our stuff out there. We we promise we will put this out in all its glory, a nice HD version. Uh, but please uh, please put the cameras away and don't uh, record the presentation. Uh, okay. Having said that, uh, I'm going to bring up a gentleman uh, that uh, many of you probably know. Uh, he was the man behind the 2008 Game of the Year Oblivion, the man behind the, uh, I'm sorry, 2006 Game of the Year Oblivion, uh, the 2008 Game of the Year Fallout 3. Uh, he is one of the very best uh, creative minds in all of video games anywhere, and one of my very best friends, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Todd Howard. systems in Texas with Ultima, which is a big inspiration for us. If you really look at it, Texas is the heart of video games as far as creativity. Uh, we, uh, we are going to kick off Skyrim here. It is running on the Xbox 360. next generation of hardware, but we had a pretty big laundry list of features that we knew we could do on with the PCs that are coming out now, on the 360 and on the PS3. So when we do an Elder Scrolls, our whole goal is to make a virtual fantasy world come to life on the screen, to make it feel like this is the first time you've played one of these games. And it is a game where you get to create any kind of character you want and go do what you want. And when it loads up here, it's going to be a little bit into the world when you step out. We spent a lot of time uh, completely rewriting our graphics engine, so all new graphics, all new gameplay. 
And again, this is all 360 live. And when we do tech, I know you guys are really familiar with the id stuff. Um, when we do technology, we're interested in showing really micro details like these plants, these logs, and then macro detail like these mountains. You can walk to the top of that mountain, it all just streams in. So we deal with levels of detail. And again, all that detail is going to stream in. Um, you know, we, it, with the kind of games we do, we can't hide stuff. So our view on uh, rendering is where it's going to draw all of it. Uh, you can play in first person. You can also play in third person. So you can see some of the new animation system here.
challenge by being a staggering job. <laughs> Take their meat, you can then cook that, it'll kill you more. You know, the level of obsession that we have over the uh, that we have over this stuff is uh, surprising. All the books are free, you can read them all. Brotherhood is in the game. Uh, I'm with Hagen Derulo, who is the lead designer and writer in Fallout 3, who made the Dark Brotherhood famous for Oblivion. He's done it again. It's a great, great fashion line. Uh, this goes over to Magic as well. So you can set favorites. So that favorite section is kind of like bookmarking web pages um, for things. And so you can use that. When you see me using the D-pad in the bottom left, uh, that's my favorites. Uh, but a big part of an RPG is your skills. And the idea here is that you look to the heavens uh, for what your character is. And you can see the progress of all of your skills. Uh, you do have every skill, and as you use them, they'll automatically increase. When you increase enough of them, uh, you will level up. And what's really cool is when you level up, you do get to pick a perk. So each of these constellations is actually its own perk tree that you push into. So a really cool way of defining your character uh, throughout the game. Uh, lastly, the map. Uh, we're just going to pull the camera back here in the world. You can see what the end Uh, it is by far the biggest and craziest game we've ever made, I assure you. Uh, even though the scale of the map is about a living size, there is significantly more content uh, in this game. It is just big, would be a massive understatement. Any part of any quest or give you little objectives. So 
it's kind of like the things you're doing and being given in the game is almost one of us headed up into the mountains here. And you'll see some of the uh, dynamic weather. All the snow you see here is actually dynamic. Our artists don't uh, texture the rocks like that. Uh, we just let the game do it itself. mountain in Skyrim. It's home to the Greybeards, and the Greybeards are masters of the voice. This is the ancient Nordic power to use your voice as a weapon to form a thun, a shout. Um, and I'll show you some of that in the demo as well. So in the main quest of the game, you are a dragonborn. You are born with the soul of a dragon, and your ability to do these shouts and speak the language of dragons hasn't been seen in the world of Tamriel for a long time.
I was looking for. <laughs>
that's the fire breath that dragons do, so you can learn that as well. We'll use that. What else?
it's, it's an amazing audience. And everybody at Bethesda, you know, we've worked in this game for three years. It's almost done. Everybody's back in Maryland crunching away. And we really appreciate all the support everybody has given us over the years. We're really blessed uh, to make these kind of games and have people, uh, you know, embrace them the way you all have. We do have a uh, special announcement too uh, at QuakeCon. Uh, we are doing uh, what we feel is the coolest collector's edition we have ever done. Uh, and uh, it's really, really limited. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to announce the price and I kind of forget what it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, if you guys want to uh, flip, flip to the image of the collector's edition. So. It comes with the game, uh, a really big map, a making of DVD, uh, the big cool item, uh, the statue. This is Alwyn, uh, the world eater. Uh, he is a dragon. This statue, the scale, is it's a foot tall. It is a really, really well done model stuff in the game. It's done by the IP Factory. Worked with us on it. They did the big Valve uh, Team Fortress statues. If you've seen those, really good stuff. It's a really high quality, and then. Um, this giant art book, big coffee table book, over 200 pages of uh, concept art uh, from the game. So really, really cool package, and uh, we hope you all like the game, like the stuff that's coming out, and uh, 